All right, set the timing. You will need a timing light and the leads to go with it. I'll show you how to hook that up. Now on your underhood sticker, it should tell you ignition timing and idle speed. Ignition timing inspection. 16 degrees plus or minus 2 degrees is what it's saying. Ignition timing and idle. Yes, but... And they're right. There's actually... What, what it says there is adjustment to be made in accordance with uh, indication given in shop manual. Ignition made with check connector short circuited at idle connector and light gray connector under located under right side of dash. Lesson here is make sure you read the instructions and the instructions normally are on the underhood sticker as far as the tune-up goes. And this says we need to short it out underneath the right side of the dash in order to properly adjust the timing. And the reason for this is is whenever you're adjusting the timing as I did here what you're doing in effect is uh, fighting the computer because the computer is trying to find a base timing of its own. It's, it, it can also make the adjustment. So as you're doing an adjustment, the computer's doing an adjustment. However, when you short this connector out, it uh, takes the computer out of the loop and you're the one making the adjustment and not the computer. Okay, when they say short check connector, right here is what they're talking about. This is also how you get the check engine light codes out of this car. I have this connector that I made this female that goes right onto this male. And basically what that does is that shorts it out. You can use a paper clip or whatever. But when you do, the check engine light will stay on solid if there's no lights, but if there's a check engine light it will come on. First you need power. Power to ground, go to the battery. Then you've got this other lead with this clip on it that needs to go to number one cylinder. My spring in mine is bad, so I need to push down on it to get it to work right. See what happens when you loan your tools to people? And lastly, my light. This gets connected to the bottom of it. And there you go. Every time you see that flashing light, Every time you see that flashing light, that is, there you go, that is the cylinder firing. So that's number one cylinder firing out. So we're going to point that down towards the uh, crankshaft and look at the timing marks. My timing light is adjustable. I can actually vary the, when, when I see the spark, when the light happens. But I'm going to put this one on zero because some timing lights don't have this adjustment. But if it's on, if you have an adjustable one and you put it on zero, or you just have one without this adjustment, you'll be able to time the engine this way. I think this will be easier for you to see if I just remove the uh, coolant reservoir. Because you're going to need to get right down in there behind the power steering pump. Okay, so I actually went through the trouble of removing the power steering pump just so that you can see where the timing marks are. See how much I love you? camera doesn't like this at all. <laughs> it's like, uh-uh. I don't know what you want from me. Anyway. I'm going to try my best. Yeah, this looks very different on the camera than it does in real life. It's kind of cool, though. But I will try to get the best shot I can and see what I can make of this. But what you'll see is you'll see one mark come up and then you'll see three marks. And when you, to adjust the timing, actually right now those three marks are a little bit behind that timing mark. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the distributor to try to make it so that those three marks line up. And I wanna try to get it so that they're right in the middle of that mark. Not quite there yet. Once again, I'm gonna move the distributor a little bit more. Right about there is about as far as I can move it. That looks like about it. It's hard to tell because the crank pulley is starting to dig into the timing cover and the timing marks aren't very easy to see. But at least for me, that looks good. 
All right. It's really difficult to show you on the car what these marks are, so I just happen to have this crank pulley that's for the same kind of car. The white mark is top dead center. Then you see before the white mark, there are three marks. And those three marks, the one in the middle represents 16 degrees, and the two on the outside are two degrees on the outside. So when you're setting up the timing as you're coming around, this will sort of freeze in time. And you'll see like this white mark, which you couldn't really see on that car too well. And you'll see these three marks. So if you have a variable timing light like mine and set on zero, what you want is you want to set it so that that mark on the timing cover is lining up right here with this middle mark and the 16 degrees. If you uh, adjust your variable timing light to 16 degrees, it might be easier to see this little mite mark. Every time this white mark comes up, you're good to go. But these are the marks that I was trying to show you. All right, once you're done getting that set, tighten your distributor bolt down. You should be good to go. I'm Eric the Car Guy. You can always visit me at ericthecarguy.com. It's a cool place. You should check it out. And um, there's really not much else I have to say because I have to put this thing back together so I can get my butt home. Yep. And uh, don't be too hard on my brother. It's not his fault. The distributor was obviously falling apart. No big deal. Anyway, I'm Eric the Car Guy. And as always, stay dirty. See ya.